One of the things that we don't recognize is how much things are changing the world. For the first time in the history of mankind, there are more people that are over the age of 60 than under the age of four. When you were growing up, everything was, God, we're going to run out of energy. Energy, energy, poor the United States. The answer is, we're now an energy exporter. So all I'm saying is look at this world, look how it's changing, and look at where we're at. If you take the country, we have gone through 13 years where the country is basically seeing a majority of seeing things headed off in the wrong direction. Our objective is to find out where our attitudes, and if you look at the Obama administration, essentially it's been a majority all the way along saying things are headed in the wrong direction. The period where things were positive there was just when Bush came took over, but if you go right back to uh, the period of 9-11 and forward, it gives you a sense of where we're going and where things are at. You look at the president, the president has had a very tough uh, period of time, and when he got uh, inaugurated for his second term, uh, by a slight majority, people were optimistic or satisfied and hopeful. Today, you have by a three to two margin people saying, uh, I'm negative, I'm uncertain, et cetera. You look at the difference between Republicans and Democrats, 85% uh, of Republicans were positive a year later. It is 70 and 12. So the big change is uh, his loss with uh, Democrats and independents more than Republicans. Important to understand. The president faces tough times in terms of this. But here's the other thing where people uh, uh, are facing tough time, and that is when we ask the question, does your current uh, representative deserve to be reelected? This is the first time in the history of the NBC Wall Street Journal poll, which we've been doing for 25 years, where over 60% say, my representative, I want that person to be out. And only 29% say, uh, deserve re-election. If you look, we said, if there were a place on the ballot where you could vote every single member of Congress out, what you've got is over 60% saying, I would pull that lever. All of this tells you about the corrosive nature of where we're at and how people are feeling. Now, people want to know, what's going to happen in this election? There, number one is, how do we feel about the country? Number two is, how do we feel about the incumbent, our president? And number three, how much interest do we have? Well, we know people feel negatively about the direction of the country. We know that the president's in trouble. There's a negative there. And number three, uh, turnout. Look at this. In 2006, when the Democrats did well, look at how the turnout with Democrats and Republicans were even. Why? Because there are more people who identify themselves as Democrats than Republicans, about, about eight points at this stage. In 2010, when the Democrats got kicked, the Republicans' interest was uh, 14 points, or uh, uh, 16 points higher. In 2014, in March, it's 12. In April, it is 16-point differential. So, a couple of other things. One, uh, health care. How do people feel about health care? Where are people coming from? And uh, if you look at this, the whole point is, uh, Health care has been unpopular from the beginning. And at this stage of the game, 49% say it's a bad idea. You get about 37% saying it's a good idea. But what is particularly interesting and makes a much more interesting dynamic this time around is that 54% of the American public say, fix it, don't end it. And mend it, don't end it, which is the line. So. The Republicans are talking about eliminating, getting rid of, and everything else. That's a dangerous for position for them to be in. The two things that are going to work against the Republicans this time around, if this election gets closed, number one will be, uh, will be uh, the economy. If people perceive the economy continues to pick up, that's going to help the uh, Democrat. Number two, if the Republicans overplay health care, uh, that will work in their benefit. It's a human vision, a legacy we want to leave behind us.